Hello guys, welcome to another video with Farhan Zay Khwaja. Now this video is quite emotional for me and when I'm going to explain it to you, you're probably going to get the idea. First of all, congratulations to all the Manchester fans around the world. When I say Manchester, I do not need to say United because we know the real Manchester is Manchester United. It's not the shitty corrupted with money club. Okay, first thing, uh, let me tell you about myself is that I haven't made much videos in English because uh, this is basically a Pakistani channel talking about Pakistani current affairs and mostly news related to Pakistan. Some of the videos, like if I have made 200 videos in probably last three years, there are around like five to six videos which are in English and there's only one video which is uh, about football. So, and the one video was when uh, there was uh, talks about cancelling uh, the Champions League and bringing the new format and that was some, you know, bullshit thing. So, it was close to me, it was about the beautiful game of football, so I had to make a video on that. So, this video is quite emotional for me and let me tell you why. Step by step, I know it's going to be a long video, but you have to bear with me. It started, it started in 2007, it started in 2007, end of 2007, 2008 beginning that uh, I wasn't a football fan. As a Pakistani, I was always, you know, uh, crazy about cricket and honestly, I did not like uh, watching football, talking about football or anything. But I was raised in Saudi Arabia, you know, the people who are like fanatics, they're football fanatics. Even in the World Cup 2018, they were losing 5-0 and they were celebrating it. That's how fanatic they are about football. So, I still remember I was a Bollywood fan. This is embarrassing. So, I was a Bollywood fan and there was this movie, Dandana Dan Gold. It was about a low division uh, club game and in UK and they were like, there's this team, Southall United. It was completely, it was completely about Daisies. Pakistani, Indian, Sri Lankan from Bangladesh, from this country, they um, they made a team from these nationalities, and it was quite an emotional movie. Okay, it was about football, and they were they won a championship like after for first time when they reached in final like 20 years ago, but then they won the championship in in that movie. Now between that movie, they sucked. Like while playing football, they sucked. They had no chemistry, no nothing. But then their coach who was the ex-player of that team, he took them to Old Trafford. He showed them about the history. He told them why Manchester United is the greatest club in the world. And from that movie, I got the idea about, you know, like, this is something so magical. And people talk about football where I, I was raised. They were fanatics about footballs. So, I gave it a shot. And I started watching Manchester United play in 2008. And we all know, we all know how that season of 2008 ended. We became the champions. We became the champions of Europe. And from that day till this day, I have been a fan of that club. Sadly for me, I didn't watch Ronaldo that much because after two years, he left us and he went on to play for his dream team, Real Madrid. But I was always, I used to see how Vidic went away. And then how Giggs went away, Scalzi went away, and then Rooney went away. And the worst part was when Alex, Sir Alex, left the club. That was like, you know, the, a nail in the coffin. But that was our time. As a United fan, that was our time. Because in, our, in mostly my life, when I was like 14 years old and I'm, now I'm 27, from that time we were winning everything. But this was our time to show the sport to our club. We had Van Gaal, we had David Moyes, and some may agree, some may disagree. But we showed unity. We showed unity. We weren't like those plastic fans of uh, Manchester City. We were something else. And now we are getting rewar re rewarded. We are getting rewarded by the legend, the king himself, returning to his kingdom. This is so... Uh, Another thing which is so, I won't say embarrassing, but my first relationship with a girl, with a Pakistani girl, it was, uh, I saw her on Instagram and the bio said Manchester United fan. That was the most attractive, attractive thing about that girl. 
and I messaged her and the first thing we talked about was Manchester. Uh, we had a relationship on and off for four years and I gave her many gifts but the gifts she still has it now probably she's married not need to talk about that but she's married but the shirt I gave her of Manchester United that's how emotional that's how this is what Manchester means to me you know uh, people around the world they watch the match around 9 o'clock 10 o'clock we have to stay awake for 3 a.m. To watch the match of our club. I know uh, people in Pakistan. Like you have the fans. You have people who respect football. But the craze of cricket is so much superior. That not by the people uh, who live in UK. Or the uh, Manchester supporters from Manchester. But our own people kind of. Kind of you know. They make trolls that. Ha ha look at these football supporters. uh, Making so much fuss about it. But they have no idea how much this means to us. We know and the one of the thing, one of the thing which just caught me off guard when the start of the season we saw our sick fam, the sick family, the sick family of Manchester United, they were sitting back there. That was so, that was so amazing to see them that I guess everything is getting back to normal. Everything is getting back, the pieces are getting fit. And honestly, I have no idea. I'm like, I have no idea what to say. I have no idea how to express my feelings. And these two years are going to be amazing. These two years, we're going to tell the champions are back. The original champions are back. The real Manchester United. That Manchester is red. And all I have to say is congratulations. I, it took me three hours. It took me three hours because I was celebrating as hell. I was laughing. I was laughing on my uh, friends actually. I was making fun of them because every year I used to tell them that Ronaldo is going to come back. Ronaldo is going to come back. Ronaldo is going to come back. And they used to laugh at me. They used to laugh at me. But get who's laughing now. Guess who's laughing now, right now. If I still. I have to end this video, but on this story that uh, my friends from Saudi Arabia, like they're still my friends. We have this WhatsApp group. And. Uh, there was this match in 2014, 2013. I still remember dislocating my knee while playing football. And um, it was two to three years after the surgery. I had this Terminator kind of uh, bandage. I won't say bandage, but this thing on my uh, knee. And there was a Champions League match of Manchester United and uh, Real Madrid. He was a Real Madrid fan. And I still remember watching it and Ronaldo scoring a beautiful header against us. It was so heartbreaking. And sitting, you know, like going outside watching the match on TV live after so, ma- after so many months because I had a surgery, I was on bed rest. And everything is just like the, all those feelings, all those feelings are just coming back. And there's no way to describe it. There is no way... I just had to make this video and glory, glory, Manchester United, we are back.